If the Kiwi Super Rugby Derby so far this season are anything to go by, then there's a strong chance tomorrow's Hurricanes Blues match on Eden Park will also go down to the wire. In those close contests, the Hurricanes are coming out on top more often than not. Dewey Priest delves into why. Natalie Hogg is a sports psychologist, but here at Hurricanes HQ, she's known as the mental skills coach. The brain is, is always involved in moving physically, but also in the mental processing of what you're doing. She's been with the club for three seasons, but arguably this year they've seen the biggest payoff in those mental processes, with the Hurricanes edging out a number of close matches, with five of their eight wins by a margin of six points or less. I think psychology does play a big role in that, and people who can focus and stay in the moment and stay on task, we'll be able to continue through adversity and through pressure. And that's being echoed by the players. Everybody's just trying to look for that extra 1% edge um, over the other team and middle skills provides that, um, you know, I, I believe. But while the Hurricanes have edged out a few close ones, they've also made a bad habit of switching off for large parts of games. Case in point, last Saturday, allowing the Rebels back into the game from a 26-point deficit. Some athletes will be will we'll really struggle if they make a number of mistakes in a row, for example, and we'll need a process to reset. Like often you find, you know, guys will make a mistake and then it sort of compounds on them. So like using skills that she's uh, brought in, we can use them in the moment. And there'll likely be plenty more pressure moments on Friday nights when they take on the Blues, with the mental preparation being put in early. The psychology is applied well before the game starts in terms of their confidence that they know they've done everything they can to put themselves in, in the best position to perform. And perhaps the best position to chase down the competition's best performers under pressure. Dewey Priest, One News. The modern-day king of Auckland's centre